Peter Nyombi, who died aged 64, was born on 23rd April 1954 in Buruli County, present in Nakasongola district. He was one of the 13 siblings. He attended Nakasongola Primary School, King's College Budo, and Makere University, graduating with a law degree in 1976. From 1977 to 1986, Nyombi was a state attorney in Ministry of Justice. He also served as a council and later director of legal affairs in the Inspectorate of Government, IGG, from 1988 when the inspectorate was created until 2001. In 2001, he went into private practice and opened his law firm, Nyombi and Company Advocates. In the same year, he was elected the MP of Buruli County in Nakasongola District. He was MP for 15 years until 2016. President Museveni appointed Nyombi Attorney General in May 2011, a position he held until March 2015. As Attorney General, he drew a lot of controversy. In August 2013, the Uganda Law Society suspended Nyombi and gave him a certificate of incompetence, saying he soiled the society's image through what they described as questionable legal advice. However, Nyombi later petitioned the High Court, which quashed the Law Society's decision. In 2012, he clashed with Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga when he sided with a petitioner, Severino Trinobu Sinje, who had petitioned the Constitutional Court challenging Parliament's resolution to force three ministers, Amama Mbabazi, then Prime Minister, Sam Kutesa, Foreign Affairs, and Hilary Onek, then Minister of Internal Affairs, to step aside over bribery allegations. Nyombi again deferred with the Speaker when he insisted that three MPs, Theodor Sechikubo, Wilfred Nuwagaba, and Mohamed Nseroku, who had been expelled by their political party, the NRM, should leave Parliament, while the Speaker insisted that they should stay. The Attorney General Nyombi advised the President that the now deceased General Ronda Nyakairma, an active officer of the Uganda People's Defense Force, could constitutionally serve as Minister of Internal Affairs. The Uganda Law Society questioned this advice. The Law Society also faulted Nyombi's advice to the president that former Chief Justice Benjamin Odochi, who had attained the mandatory retirement age of 70 years, could continue on the bench, yet the constitution barred him. In January 2017, it emerged that Nyombi and 35 other government officials had shared 6 billion shillings in the infamous Golden Presidential Handshake. The officials were rewarded for their role in helping Uganda win a landmark oil case in an international arbitration court in London, UK, where the country secured over $700 million, about 2.6 trillion shillings from Heritage Oil Company. A parliamentary committee investigated the payout and found that Nyombi and his team were irregularly awarded. However, Nyombi said he was proud to have led the team as the Attorney General and performed a noble national duty.